Hello, 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 beautiful people. It has certainly been a while as I've been going through my own life journey and continuing to learn um, the lessons through the process. Forgive me, my voice is uh, not as hoarse as it was before, but I did lose my voice a little while ago and um, I'm still healing. But I have been thinking about this and feeling this on my heart to talk about. So I want to get on and share with you just some of the lessons I've been learning and um, a lot of the epiphanies that have been coming to me through this process. Now, as you go through this journey, you will learn that it's not always easy. And it's definitely not for the faint of heart. It is meant to build you up, <clears throat> give you character, make you strong, and ultimately build that relationship that you have with God, the most high yourself, your higher self, and so that you will come into full knowing and belief in the realness of the Most High and faith that God is always with you no matter what. Now, before every elevation or before you level up to the next level, because there is levels to this in this life, you can call it a game. It can be considered that. But before you elevate, there's always going to be a test or a storm or things that come that may seem like it's it's coming to, to knock you over or test your faith. And um, this is so that you will be fully prepared and um, fully, again, believing in God through the process without wavering on your belief and your faith knowing that everything is going to be okay and that you're going to go where you're meant to be. A lot of times when we begin the journey, we have so much um, enthusiasm and just kind of uh, like a zealous feeling for the task at hand. We're excited about it. You, yes, I'm going to follow my dreams. I'm going to follow my passions. I'm going to go after the things that I want to go for. And along the way in the process, there may be stumbles or there may be a waiting period or there may be a time of complete silence and you may have been putting in the work and nothing seems like it's working. You may have stayed faithful and it seems like God is not answering you. You may have gotten to the point where you feel like you don't even know if it's real anymore or you question if what you're doing or the path that you've taken is the right path to go down in the first place. And let me tell you, you have to stay steadfast. You have to continue believing. You have to continue to be disciplined. You, you have to remain in humility and have an open heart and an open ear towards God and the most high for the vision that for, for the vision that God has given you. <clears throat> because this is just to see if you really want what it is that you say you want, because you could always just turn around and go back to what you were doing before. You can always go back to that place of comfort and do what you were doing before. And sometimes it may work, but sometimes it might not. Because when you're meant to go down a path, a different path for the vision that God is giving you, there is when you make your mind up towards that, there is nothing that's going to stop you from getting there unless you do. Now, I say that 
it might not work because this period when you have been doing everything and nothing is working for you, you may go, okay, well, maybe I need to do something different. Maybe I need to change this up. Maybe I just need to, you know, scurry and get it done. And you try to do what you did before. You try to do what you, you, you're used to doing. And what ends up happening is you notice that that's also blocked. Or what used to be easy for you in terms of things working out that worked before is no longer working for you now. And that is because you're meant to move forward. And you're not meant to move backwards. Now, if you can just stay the course and stay steadfast, hey, remember that this too shall pass. And every storm that comes to you is eventually going to subside or die down. And it's always the darkest before the dawn, as they say. So, you know, you may be feeling that you've, you've continuously are getting knocked over and you don't know how much more you can take. And you may feel like, well, geez, God, do you even love me? Are you even here? You know, who's around me? Who's looking out for me? But every single move is being orchestrated and you are supported and you are protected. And there are beings that you cannot see around you that walk with you on this journey. And there is a plan and God does know what God is doing. Trust and believe. And if you can just stay steadfast and believe and trust and have faith, you might not be able to see everything right now. And that too is for a reason because maybe you're not supposed to see everything because maybe there might be a move on your half that could change the trajectory of how it's supposed to go. Or maybe you're supposed to be at this place or that place at the right exact moment for things to actually work out as they should. So, you know, I, I just wanted to talk about this because I'm learning, I'm learning this too, you know, for myself that yes, I have the power to create my world. You know what I mean? And I'm visualizing this thing and I'm, I'm manifesting this thing and I'm holding this in my heart and I'm, I'm beginning to see, see the signs that, that, that there is a response to me like, okay, Hey, we got it. Your order's being worked on, but I don't necessarily see the whole picture yet. And I don't know where it's coming yet. <laughs> But through this process, I have learned and I'm still continuing to learn that, hey, I am God's child, that there is a purpose for my life, that I can't see everything right now, but it's going to unfold before my eyes, that I am that much more closer than what I was before. And that, yes, through this whole process, I am a completely different person. I am unrecognizable to the person that I was last year and to the person that I was the year before. And all of this is for a purpose to make and mold me into the person that I need to be in order to be the person that gets what it is that she's that she's manifesting and that she wants in in her heart because it's not just getting the thing you know what I'm saying because along the way when you get that thing you you have to you, you have to meet certain people you have to have to make certain relationships you have to have a certain certain business mind for other things and there are things that maybe you might have to learn along the way you know what I'm saying so it all has its purpose. And I believe that, you know, as we grow, we also gain the knowledge and the skill level, but we also, we are learning that humility and that compassion for, for our next fellow brethren. Because it's like sometimes in this world, when you haven't really gone through anything, you know what I'm saying? When you haven't been knocked over a few times, can you really say that you can have compassion and love in your heart? for someone who who's down and out next to you. And maybe you can because you're such a great person, but not everyone can, you know what I'm saying? So this builds you up to be that person that's in that high level of position, not only getting and receiving the blessings that you deserve, but now you can also be of service to the most high and to the kingdom of God. And when that is what it's all supposed to be about, because we bring heaven down here and we are living in a day and a time where evil, their time is up. It's up and I know, I know you can feel it. And it seems like things are moving slow, but things are also moving very rapidly. You know what I'm saying? People are beginning to wake up and see the lies that have been being fed to us for so very long in this mainstream media, in this world that tries to program us with hate, fear, separation, and anything that is just like perverse and completely against God. You know what I'm saying? So this is not just about 
you and me on a personal level only. Yes, God cares about all our all of our needs, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. So this is the kingdom that we are talking about. So you are becoming the person that you need to become to fulfill the role that you have to fulfill as your spot in, in the warrior hood. <laughs> That's even a word of the kingdom of God. You know what I'm saying? So yes, it may be tough, but at the end of the day, we have to continue to tr- trust and believe, hold step up and don't question it. Because God has not forgotten us. And at the end of the day, we are going to get everything for everything that we have gone through, for every traumatic experience that we have gone through, for every painful experience that we have gone through, excuse me, the car just rolled past, for all the tears that we have cried, for all the people who have backstabbed us, we have not been forgotten. For the first shall be last and the last shall be first. So this message is to all of you. I am sending you so much love. May you continue to go within, seek the most high, become with your higher self because all the knowledge is within you. And so until next time, I hope that everyone is well. Stay strong. Take care of you.